In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to register a program fully. Okay, you have all DBG opened, right? Um, we're gonna register a program called Pixtopian Book, right here. Um, yeah, you know how I know it's unregistered because it says unregistered here and here. And yeah, um, I already made three groups here. My first group is called Contact. My second group is called Brian. My third group is called Hamster. When I try to add a fourth group, it says, we've reached the limit of three groups. Please register Pixelkin book today. I already added uh, four contacts. I didn't put any names or any information on them because I'm too lazy to. When I try to add a fifth name, it says, you've reached the limit of four entries per group. Please register Pixelkin book today. All right. Um, when you go to help, click about Pixopian book, it says unregistered here. So it's unregistered here, 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 um, on these when I try to add a group, and here when I try to add something. So uh, we're going to fix all five. All right. Um, oh boy, this might take a while. Oh, actually, I'll try to do it fast and simple. Okay. Um, 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 let's say again. It says you've reached the limit of three groups. Okay, memorize that. You've reached the limit of three groups. Okay. Um, I'm gonna drag Pixopian book to all DBG. All right. Right click, search for all reference text strings. Um, scroll all the way up because it searches from up to down. So just might as well go all the way to the first one. Search for tick text. All right. Um, you've reached the limit of. I already typed that in. Um, click OK. Lands here, you've reached the limit of three groups. Please register Pixelpian book today. Double click. Analyze this. Look, look, okay. Right above it, it says CMPEAX, comma, three. Alright, this is what this does. Remember, I told you CMP compares, and EAX is a, is a, value, is a, is a value that you put in. Anyway, it compares. Um, how many times, how many groups you put in to three, you see? So if you already have three groups, then this conditional jump down here. Um, it, if you already have three groups, then this conditional jump does not work. So it just keeps going and going and it hits this. But if you don't have three groups yet, this conditional jump here, the JL short, will work and it'll jump all the way to 00408B34, that's what it says here which is right here see it skips this two so let's make this always skip these two okay we're gonna double click on this we're gonna change this JL to JMP so that way it, it's not conditional jump anymore it's a, it's a you know a real jump that just automatically does it without any conditions click assemble and then you press play and you're gonna oh shoot uh, you're gonna end up in this seven six zero six four two e b address, and the program's not gonna run. That's because um, the program has very little range. Like it only sc only scans up to a little range before it before it exits and hits this. Uh, let's make the range maximum. We go to debug. No, sorry. We go to options. Debugging options. Click on exceptions. Click. Add range. Do six zeros. I think that's safe. Six zeros is safe. And eight Fs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click OK. Click ignore. Also following custom exceptions or ranges. Click OK. Alright, now restart your program. And then it should work. I'll right click, I'll reference text strings. Um You've reached the blah blah. All right. All right. So now when I click run, all right. Um, Pixopian book. Op sometimes when you run it, it opens on your task bar, and then you click on it, it transfers to this little bar next to the time thing. But just click on it anyway. Um, I have three groups as you see, and now it adds me add another one.
Yay, four groups. Should I add? Oh, okay, add another one. Oh, actually, I can add as many as I want because, as you see, I just cracked that part. Alright. Um. Alright, next, since we already patched this group part, let's patch the adding part, which we can only do 5 max, or 4 max, sorry. Alright, memorize this. You've reached the limit of 4 entries per group. Okay. You've reached the limit of. You've reached the limit of 4 entries per group. You've reached the limit of 4 entries. Alright, restart by clicking that button. Right click, search for Arvin's text strings. Right click, search for text. Reached the limit of four. Click OK. Found it. Double click. All right. Um. Yeah. Like similar, like the other one. You see, compare EAX with four. This compares to see if EAX, which is the number of entries you put, you know, has hit four yet. If it has hit four, then this condi conditional jump here will not work. So then the program just keeps reading and reading, and it will hit this. So let's make this jump always work so that it'll jump to, was it 00412DEF, which is right here, which is past this bad message. Alright, let's make this jump always work and not a conditional one. Here's a JMP, click assemble. Now I'll click play. Alright, um, I'll tab onto it. Let's see. Alright, let's see if we can add another one. Yay, we can. Click OK, we got five now. Add another one, six. You can just keep going on and on. Alright, so so far we patched this and this. Alright, um actually that's what I'm gonna teach for today. The changing this stuff to make it say registered and stuff, that doesn't really do anything. It's that's just the graphics of how it looks, you know what I mean? Alright, uh we're done.